Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori, and today I have a Dollar Tree haul for you. And I've got coffee, and I got a bad key scratching on my chair. We don't scratch on the furniture, friend. That will be Wellington. I'm a little nervous about my new furniture that's coming next week. So the furniture I ordered in March from Value City Furniture here in Central Ohio wasn't due to come now until August. It's been pushed back, pushed back, pushed back. The furniture I ordered in end of May is being delivered next week. Thank you all. And somebody would like to say hi. Ugh. Hi, baby. This is how I work some days. I have him on my lap and I type because he's a needy boy. Are you a mama's boy? Yeah, do you say hi to our friend? Say hi. A little nervous, he lost most of his whiskers except for one over his eye. I don't know where they went. He didn't lose them all, but most of them. Okay, there you go, thank you. Okay, so it's a mixed bag of stuff. We're in a little bit of a lull, I feel like, at my, um, at my Dollar Tree. So, I'll show you what I bought. I'm gonna be doing some tie dyeing today, so I got some bleach. I'm gonna do a re one reverse tie dye and the rest normal, but I needed bleach anyway for laundry. And then I grabbed two of these liter bottles of Pure Life, Nestle Pure Life, just purified water to drink for my backpacking trip because, excuse me, sir, because I'm getting ready to go backpacking today, later. And I needed two of those. I don't know about this cat. So I got those. I picked up some parchment paper. I like this. Um, I like using parchment more than I like using the silicone sheets. They get gross. This just throws away. So I grabbed a roll of it. They were, I couldn't find any for the longest time at my Dollar Trees. And again, we're just running out of all of this stuff. I feel like everybody's running out of merchandise i'm assuming it's covid related but i don't know i'm trying to see where this was imported from this comes from canada so i don't know what the deal is but um yeah parchment paper i love it and you get 20 feet per roll now what i would say is 6.66 uh, yards you don't use waxed paper some people have tried to cook with waxed paper do not you want parchment the wax on wax paper will melt in the oven and get on your food. I'm just throwing that out there. So we have that. Then I bought a brownie mix. And this is Duncan Hines Dark Chocolate Fudge. It just makes a normal size. I'm gonna make brookies for my niece and her friends when they come to go use my pool. I guess I should say this, but the girls, the kids that come, they're 30. They're, they're not children, but I don't care. They're getting brookies. And I'll make treats for them and put them in the freezer and then they can just grab and go. So I needed some brownie mix. I already have the cookies. I will do a video on that. I get a lot of questions about what a brookie is. And at the end of the day, it's a brownie on the bottom and a chocolate chip cookie on the top. Oh, I wanted to show you my nails. I did chop them all off because I was working outside and they were all gross. But I got a kit to try from nail addict and it's um gel the gel manicure so i'm trying it out see how i like it and then i will do a review and show you guys um it was sent to me so keep that in mind um but you know the, the opinions will be my own so i'm gonna try it i purchased a bath mat i don't know if it's any good or not but my tub seems with some of my showered products has been getting slippery and makes me nervous because I'm old. So I grabbed one of these to put down in my tub just to see I saw it and thought I would try it. If not, I'm gonna get like a real, a more expensive one or the little stickers because who needs to be sliding around in their tub? So I grabbed one of those and my tub is cast iron with enamel over it. So hopefully this will stick. I got that. Guys, it's hot today. I picked up a tablecloth, and this is 
It says it's with a flannel back. I'm actually using it today for our um, tie dyeing. My friends are coming over, so I just want to see. Yeah, it, I mean, it's not a great quality like um, the more expensive ones you would get for like five and six dollars at Walmart, but it'll do its job, and it's definitely heavier than the like just the plastic. There is a backing on this. So yeah, I think this would be great for like a picnic. And actually I'm having a work picnic next weekend. I probably should go grab some to put on the tables for the food. So maybe I'll run to Dollar Tree tomorrow and pick up a couple more to take because I like that I could just dispose of them. But I wanted to see what the quality was. And it's not terrible, it's not terrible. It definitely is not like those plastic ones for sure. Bye Dubs. I'm hot, guys. So I got that for today. There's a lot of stuff in here that's for my tie-dyeing today. I grabbed a bag of the box of these gallon size hefty. Um, these are the ones that will stand and fill. They have the flat bottom because on, when we tie-dye our shirts, they need to go into bags and sit for 24 hours so the dye can permeate the fabric. And I grabbed six, and that should be enough, I think. There's going to be three of us, a child, so four of us. I'll have to grab one of my own. But yeah, I grabbed some bags. These are great. You know, it, again, when you're saying to yourself, is it, it's hefty brand. The quality is there. I love the flat bottom, especially if you're doing like freezer meals because it will stand up on its own. But six of them for a dollar is not your best bang for your buck, if you will. However... Um, it was convenient and I have other bags. So I'm not worried about that. <gasps> oh, I found a Christmas gift. It is a frozen mug. So it has Anna and Elsa and Olaf and it says destiny awaits. It is Zach brand and it's color changing when you put hot water in it. So I think this is going to be a gift at Christmas time. I'm going to figure something out like a hot chocolate situation with marshmallows for somebody for a dollar and it is name brand it's Zach brand so I think this is super cute so I've started my Christmasing because that's how I roll I'm gonna see if the air conditioner's on I'll be right back well it is on but it's I have it on 72 so I turned it down a little bit I'm not sure why I feel so warm maybe I'm having a hot flash that could be it. But anywho, um, back to my Dollar Tree haul. I grabbed two of these. Um, so when I went to one store and couldn't find the roll of parchment paper, they did have these in stock, so I grabbed two. And what this is, is their pop-up sheets of parchment paper. So you open it up and you pull them out and they're like a tissue box, a continuous feed. You get 25 sheets in here. I believe they almost fit a half sheet pan, which is fantastic. But you could also use them to like wrap sandwiches on a picnic. I mean, anything you use parchment for, you can use these sheets and they're really convenient. Um, so I grabbed two because again, I couldn't find my parchment paper and I use it fairly regularly. Like anytime I put anything in the oven, I put a piece of parchment paper under it and it just makes cleanup so easy. And this is made uh, with the temperatures up to 400. So, by the way, if you try to broil, you can catch this on fire. Just going to throw that out there. And these are made in Illinois. Not that anybody asks, but just interesting to me sometimes where things come from. So, I grab that. That just needs to be stashed away with my parchment in my drawer. Oh, look what I found, guys. I am loving the bee theme. And it just says, let it be. And this will go behind me on the mantle, I think. I love it. And it's just one of those boxes and it does come apart. So if you wanted to have the frame and put something different in here, you totally could. The back comes off just like a regular picture frame. And I bet you there's glass covering it. Let's open it up and see. The one thing is that I grabbed so the frame itself is just gold plastic. 
There is, there is glass, but I love it. I think it's cute. And it also has a hanger on the back. If you wanted to hang it, I'm just going to sit it. So I love that a lot, you know, because I'm getting ready to decorate this living room now that I have furniture coming. So I haven't really done anything because I'm not sure where the couch is going to land, where the chair is going to end up, where the cat scratcher. I don't know where everything is going to find its home for now. And so, oh, and I ordered an ottoman, but that won't be in from a different company, but that won't be in for like two to three weeks. Everything is on back order, guys. Everything. Okay. I found one of these. Actually, there was multiple, but I just grabbed one to make a sign. I don't know what season. I don't know, but I thought I need this. I like, it's a little bigger than the other ones I found with the stars on them. This is larger and I think it'll make a fantastic sign. And I would love to make like a template, paint, sand it, make it look old and then seal it. I think that will be fun, like a rustic sign, but we'll see. Whatever stri the mood strikes me. I have like a, a basket with all my tin or what is this, what are they calling it? Galvanized metal. Uh, you know things that I pick up the, the blanks if you will and then when I get an idea of something to do with it then I have the materials sometimes sometimes I buy things because I have an idea and sometimes I buy things because I know it'll be a fantastic base or part of another craft I just haven't come up with the other craft yet so it just depends so I just grabbed one usually I grab two but I thought I didn't really need two of this I also go in the middle of a wreath I go anywhere that will go upstairs in my craft room. I grabbed two of the Starbucks. Starbucks? No, girl. Starburst. Apparently, I want coffee. Starburst drink mixes. I got <clears throat> blue raspberry and all pink. And these are for, I don't like to drink either one of these, but they're fantastic in frozen popsicles. Now, I'm going to be making adult popsicles. Let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see how I do it. I can do two different ways, but these are definitely adult. I put alcohol in them. If you just put this in water and freeze it, you just get a really, really, really hard popsicle. It's not like a, it's not like a, you get a really hard ice cube, a <clears throat> flavored ice cube. When you add a little bit of alcohol, you get that frozen popsicle consistency to it. And I don't know how to get that non-alcoholic other than maybe corn syrup or something i'm not really sure i guess i could research it and find out but for the adult popsicles it's a drink mix and alcohol i will be happy to show you just put it in the comments below again if that's something that you'll be interested in i will be happy to share that with you and i'll make a video on the brookies um i picked up some more goo gone i love these little bottles they're fantastic i keep one in my craft room and i keep one under my kitchen sink for getting labels off and all the things. I love this Goo Gone stuff. And I was out of my bottle, I think, down here in the kitchen. So I grabbed another one. They're great, I love it. It's oily, so I think it's similar to um, like a WD-40 maybe, but it's fine, I use that. And then I always buy all the new glues. This one looks different to me. It's a multi-purpose cement. And I'm not sure the difference between this and Fix All. Oh, this is like a rubber cement. So you apply a thin layer to each side, you wait 10 minutes, and then you push them together and it's an instant bond. So that can definitely see some applications with that. So I just grabbed it to try. Um, you know, these are just small little half of an ounce. And again, this is another product that maybe at the Dollar Tree is not the best bang for your buck, but I tend to not use this a lot and big tubes will dry out. They get yucky, the material breaks down, and I end up throwing away a half a tube of glue. So in my mind, it is cost effective because I like working with the, the smaller little containers, if that makes sense. And it's so convenient because I'm in the Dollar Tree literally all the time. So there's that. There's always that bit of convenience factor that helps. Let's have some coffee. All right, I turned the fan this way and I'm cooling off maybe I'll I don't know guys. They have some more bags out and this one says, you're the cat's meow. Duh, I had to have it. 
like I need more bags. But this one actually has a purpose in life. This is, um, it's a nice like book bag shape. So with a little handle, I liked the longer ones with the continuous strap for grocery shopping. This one here, I bought it specifically. So if I didn't mention, I'm on the board of trustees for my condo association this year. And I have to bring back and forth like a notebook, uh, the list of rules, any printouts that I have, a pen, you know, things like that. So what I'm going to do is create this bag and just leave everything in the bag all the time. And then when it's meeting day, I just grab the bag and go. Because for me, it's easier than having to try to remember things. So I can, and everything I have for the meeting would just need to stay in here anyway, because I will only use it if I'm dealing with condo business. And in that situation, I would just go to the bag and then I also know exactly where everything is. And these are nice. It's a really thick canvas. So honestly, if you wanted to do something on the back, you could have fresh fabric back there. I don't know, you could make a pillow out of it for like your decking or something, but I like it. And I thought it was a perfect bag that I could just grab and go and take with me. I really enjoy doing that like little go bags. I have one for when I work at my part-time job. It's a backpack with a drawstring and everything I need for that part-time job, my credentials, my clock in and out badge, my flashlight, an extra pair of socks, because I have to wear black socks. I mean, I have everything in that bag and it's when I'm working that season, it stays in my car. Now it's been out of my car for a year and a half because we haven't been working, but whenever I do work, it stays in my car and that way, everything I need, I have to have an extra pen. I have some money in there, like just a couple dollars in case I forget cash to get a drink. But everything stays in there and that bag goes into work with me. It gets put on a, in a locker and then it comes back out and I know that I have the things I need. Just me. It helps. What am I crazy? Okay, let's get to it. I got another cuticle cream. This worked really well. So I did get another one because I love it. My cuticles tend to get, you know, I don't cut them by the way. I put this on and then I just push them. I let it sit and then I wash it off and push my cuticles back. It just helps get them soft. Um, it's not really good to cut your cuticles, especially me because I don't know how. And so I don't need to be getting cuts on my fingers, but I just take like an orange stick and push them back so that they're not being seen. But I really enjoyed that and saw it and said, well, I need another one. To go along with that, I did pick up this little tiny, it's a kid's one, but I don't care. I wanted this stick. It's like the wood, that little thing at the bottom. It's like an orange stick and you use that to push your cuticles. So I grabbed it for that. And these little nail files, this will actually go into my work bag that I was talking about for my part-time job. I'll just throw the little, they'll work fine for a, a snag or something. And then the nail brush and the clippers, I don't know what I'll do with them. Throw them in my makeup bag or something. I'm kind of funny about clippers, so we'll see if those even work. Um, but yeah, I thought that was cute. I know it's not a new product, but when I picked up this, I was looking to see if they had the wooden orange sticks and they do not. So I just grabbed that for that specific piece. Right, right. We've got more stuff here, guys. Um, in the metal front, I found these metal gift tags. Love them. And they have the ones with the pointy roof and then they have the ones that are straight across love them again i will cricket something on here and probably make christmas ornaments out of these um maybe for 2021 for my family put something fun on it last year everybody got quarantine uh, christmas ornaments so maybe i'll cricket up some christmas ornaments for everybody well, you can put them on gifts or you, there's a hundred million things you can use them for. You can put them in a tiered tray. They're super cute. I should get some more packages though because I like the Christmas gift idea. Uh, another standing pedestal and it's a pineapple. So this will definitely be for summer. Um, I should put on here, be a, everybody be a, a pineapple, stand tall and wear a crown that little saying I could put on here or just leave it. I mean, it's really perfect the way it is. Put it in my tear tray maybe. Again, I don't know. I just thought it was cute, so I bought it. I'm trying not to buy all the things. How am I doing? Not pretty good. 
And then I found this. I love these and this I know what I'm doing with. I am putting my address on here. The numbers, the galvanized numbers that I got before are going to go on here and this is going to hang outside my house. And I love it. It'll have to be sealed, but my front door is actually under cover. It's under a roof, so it doesn't get wet. But I want to put, or I was thinking also for 4th of July, I could do 1776 and hang it up here, like establish 1776, something like that for like 4th of July and summertime festivities. So I may end up doing that. That sounds like a good idea on the fly. So I got that. I love all the little wood stuff. And honestly, let me tell you, this is a better quality than what they normally put out. This is nice and like, this is thick. This is not breaking with a tap. It's not warping when you paint it. So definitely, yeah, I think I'll do the 1776. Um, I just picked up one of these lemon little towels. I hate this fabric. I'm not going to lie. I will not use it as a towel. I will, however, put it on top of the dish dryer that I put underneath my coffee maker so I can have, because I've yet to come out with a yellow or the lemons and that upsets me. So I decided I would just use this on top of and I may even sew it down, we'll see, to a dish dryer to have under my coffee maker because it goes with my kitchen. I love the lemons for summer, especially in my kitchen. So that will be something, I'll get it done. Maybe next week, I don't know. Just a couple things left. I grabbed a spray bottle, nothing spectacular about this. It's gonna be half bleach, half water to do the reverse tie dye. So I needed a spray bottle for the bleach and water solution that I don't feel bad and will throw away because it's bleach and water and nobody needs to accidentally spray that on something. And yes, I know, I'm not gonna throw it away right away, but I will write on there with a the Sharpie bleach. So I know. Um, can I just tell you, if you have a little person in your life, how stinking adorable these are. My friend that's coming has a little boy, he's four, and I got them for him. They're green sunglasses for little people and then a little matching bag. What in the heck? And they had sharks and then they had a pink one. Oh, but this one is the dinosaur and I thought he would like it with the little magic sunglasses. How stinking cute. Like guys, everybody needs these. If you're going on vacation, grab a few pairs and stick them in a bag and you can have them on the trip. Put them in their stocking. Save them for next Easter. I mean, these are fantastic. They're everything. And they're a dollar. And they even have like a little drawstring. They killed me. I said, well, even if I didn't have him coming over, I was buying them to show you guys. So it's just a little set and it's a dollar if you have any little people in your life. And then the last thing I picked up is a two pack, these are two packs, I have four of them. When I do tie dyeing, I prefer to put a, like a my baking cooling racks on top of these pans and then you drizzle and all the dye, uh, tie dye goes into here, the liquid, and then it's easy cleanup, that's all. One of these I'll use for bleach and then the other three we'll use to tie dye. But if you just, and I know they sell cooling racks on occasion, I didn't see any, but I'll just use mine but you put the cooling rack over the top and then you put your wet fabric on top and you drip the dye and it will go right down here. I'm not about getting tie dye all over my house, but we'll be out, out back, but still. So I grabbed two of those. So that is everything on my Dollar Tree haul today. I hope you guys enjoyed and you saw some things that you'd like to go get yourself. All right, well my company, I don't even have my watch on, it's charging, but my company will be here shortly and we're going to do some tie-dye. All right, guys, have a good one. I will talk with you later. Bye.